Well, any and every game played here is pretty special. The cop is unique for its atmosphere, an atmosphere enhanced by this splendid new main stand. A warm welcome to you from Anfield. The teams then, Liverpool against Western. This is Peter Drury, and I'm happy to inform you that Jim Beglin has joined me to offer his expertise. Thanks, Peter. Hello, everybody. I'm ready to see what unfolds in this one now. Liverpool line up in a 4-3-3. Yeah, it allows for an expansive passing game, and with everyone doing their job properly, it can be difficult to contain. Jim, see making the difference here. I would say one of the most energetic midfielders you'll find in Jordan Henderson. He's added to all that running power with slicker passing and some very impressive finishing, and, and he's a proper leader now too. Yes, he'd be my pick too. It's going to be all about how they get the best out of him. Plenty waiting in the middle. Shapes the shoots! There's an early warning shot across the bow. Firmino will probably beat himself up after that as the sole culprit. Shakiri plays a clever pass. Firmino with a beautifully timed run. Out to the left it goes. Now it's Shakiri. Firmino turns and goes back. To shot at goal! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Liverpool have grabbed this game by the scruff of the neck and aren't letting go. Liverpool have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Shakiri. And it's Salah. Westham so far providing no real test at all for the goalkeeper. Tries to dink it in and he's cut it out. Looks to thread it through. Arnautovic. He's left his back, hits one! A wonderful effort all by himself. Well, at least the crowd are appreciative of his efforts. Deftly done. Well read, he sorted that out. Jordan Henderson. Shakiri. Jordan Henderson. Shakiri. Mane. So what now? Played out to the wing. Noble plays it long. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Now it's Hernandez and Arnautovic. That is wayward. Yeah, on another occasion, all that went wrong may come right.
Shakiri with the ball through. Not much subtlety, he's launched himself there. Looks to dink one in. Tries to get it forward quickly. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Going through, tries a through ball. Arnautovic looking to get on the end of this. Hernandez. Mane. Going full steam ahead down the left flank. Steered out wide. Mane. Firmino. For a throw. Oh, that's neat. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Is it in? Oh, good stop. It had to be. Another chance. It's there. And Liverpool score first. Firmino at his razor-sharp best there. Oh, Peter, you can't teach that. You either have it or you don't. His anticipation is on another level to everyone else's. Superb. Liverpool take the lead. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Lobs it in gently. Oh, that's clever. Hernandez is on his own. Will shut. Mohamed Salah. Now it's Roberto Firmino. Firmino spreads it wide. Dinks one in. Good challenge. He just stood firm. Shakiri. And that'll be the last act of the first half. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, it hasn't exactly gone to plan so far, but there's no need to panic. There's still plenty of time to get back into this. As always, an early goal would help swing things back in their favour. And the second half gets underway. Weston need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution, and I think the more experienced players can oversee that. Mark Noble plays it out to the wing. Yarmolenko played in by your towering header. No, not the best of headers. Antonio really has shown an example of why indecision is fatal. Hernandez tries lifting it over. Antonio! Great ball to play him in, but he will be gutted to miss that. Beautifully worked to take the defence out of the picture, but there'll be no rush to see the replay on this. Aimed long and direct. Shakiri. Salah. 
managed to clip it for massive leap. Felipe Anderson goes looking. Forward it goes. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No. It's probably cautionary. Uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept. Has a swing at it! Wonderful from Roberto Firmino! A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe! Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Liverpool get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. Felipe Anderson tries to stroke it through. Mane. Mane. Mane gets into some space. It's a brilliant interception. Fine defending there. Shakiri. And it's Salah. Mohamed Salah conjuring up some magic on the right hand side. Played out to the right. Hernandez absolutely focused then on the defensive side of his game. You have to admire commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing. But instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to, uh, to dig in for his team here. Firmino floats one over. Now it's Mahal. Can he put it away? Noble. Someone looks like he's in need of protection here. Yeah, and as their most significant attacker, he isn't about to receive any generous invitations. Coaxed out to the wing. Arnautovic, the shot's on! West Ham are so well practiced in the art of keeping the ball through wonderful passing and movement and a real appetite to ensure it's reflected in their goal count. Checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. <laughs> Weston get themselves back into contention. Well, they've given themselves a chance here, but now it's a case of getting the balance right between attack and defence, and that's not easy. Now it's Roberto Firmino, Mohamed Salah. Now it's Roberto Firmino. Threw himself at it, but he's got it cleanly. Liverpool are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. And it's Snodgrass. Mane. Shakiri. Mane. Now it's Roberto Firmino. Over to the left. Now here's the through ball. Tries a header! Liverpool are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. 
Now the pass. Now here's the through ball. Antonio. Throws in his head. Brave effort, total commitment. Well, he can't be accused of not being brave, Peter, and his boss will give him a thumbs up, I'm sure. Firmino passes it through. Mane, in comes the cross. And he just whacks it away. Just brushed off the ball there. Looks like a good ball through. Shakiri. There are a few waiting. Has a hit! Oh, he couldn't get hold of it. Oh, he really wanted that. Well, Peter. And in time is up. And there goes the whistle. Westham moves by the odd goal. It could have gone either way, but that is no consolation. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Look, they've been found wanting, in my opinion, in a, a few areas that would have made a difference to the results. So they need to go away and just have a good think about it. And I'm sure they can come back stronger. I think we're just about out of time. So many thanks to Jim and a very good afternoon to you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the last two hours in the last